guys, so I wanted to make this video. Uh, this video will be about a case of Modern Masters. I'm going to buy a case for my locals for $700. And that's $175 a box. And you might say, oh, that's extremely low. Well, what happened was Miniature marketed or like a larger company online with free shipping was going to sell Modern Master boxes, as many as you could buy. Uh, they had like pretty much an unlimited supply for, what was it, $185. Uh, maybe someone can put the link in the comments below. I last time I checked, yeah, a ton of boxes left. So 185 shipped to your door. I took this to my locals. My locals said, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll match that price. It will take ten dollars off from shipping uh, if you buy a case. And a case would be four boxes. So I'm getting a case for seven hundred dollars uh, tomorrow. Or Tomorrow would be Monday, so by the time this video is up, it would actually be uh, on the same day. So I'll have a box of Modern Masters, a case of Modern Masters for $700. And what is going on is something extremely strange. Um, I don't know where these extra boxes are coming from, but many stores don't want them in stock. Meaning they, the quality issue has affected how they see Modern Masters 2015. It used to be Modern Masters one, they were more than happy to have boxes at $400 and just have it, people look at them. But for Modern Masters 2015, at least in Houston, a lot of these cards are coming out damaged. Like it might be different on your location and stuff. Maybe shipment is a big issue. I think shipment is probably the biggest issue because um, the cardboard, like it shakes. The cards like go up and down in the cardboard. Like, and would, that's probably why they are damaged sometimes, especially the foils. I can't imagine the foils keeping um, that well when it's loose space, when there's up and down space in Houston, because Houston's like 100 plus degrees sometimes. And then it's so humid that the foils will probably curve out. Like that's what I'm guessing is happening. I talked to my local store owner and he said that he doesn't want any of it in stock. He does not want to hold on to this product because it's such a, it, when you are a store, you don't want to hold on to product because that means your inventory is already spoken for. You want to buy the new Bushiro playmats, you want to buy the new Bushiro, uh, new uh, Ami Ami anime figures, you want to buy a new video game, he's a video game store, then you got to get rid of your inventory. Like you cannot, cash flow is so essential to you. So he's sitting on these mountains of Modern Masters 2015 because he felt like it was a good idea to buy them at the time and he's got to get rid of them and he's fire selling them right now i feel like he's i said i would take up to two cases but i definitely want one case I and mean, he said he would save me two cases just um just as a friendly gesture because i do go shopping there very often and i said okay that's fine and he recently sold about 10 cases of this product he, he restocked or he's going to restock by monday i don't know if he actually restocked I have to come in later after work on Monday to pick up the uh, the cases and the boxes. But he's getting a lot of this stuff and he's making the decision right now that cash flow is more important than holding on and hoping these go up in price. And I think a lot of retailers are in Houston are doing that right now. So 225 it used to be a steal for a box. 225 now looks really, really bad. Uh, you can get them online shipped to you for 185 easy. I'm sure that price point might drop even more. And you can get, I can get them at my locals for 175 a box if I buy a case, which is very reasonable. And I might just hold on to the case. I'm not sure what I want to do. I when I bought my boxes at um, cases at 900 dollars a box, I knew I had to get rid of them. I had just this gut feeling in my stomach that. It was a mistake to keep them at that price. Like I, it was a mistake to even open them on this channel. And I kept the boxes, kept the cases sealed, sold them. I lost about $15 and that was it, $15 in time. But now I can rebuy cases at much like $200 less a case, which is exactly the correct decision. Um, I knew it, like I knew it in my gut feeling. I knew something was gonna happen and it wasn't like the amount I mean, it's two factors. There was more amount than a lot of stores are reporting. There's more than they believe there was previously. Uh, after GP Vegas was over, they have released, you know, dis the distribution has released all of the boxes they have. And secondly, in Houston, at least, where it's very hot and very humid, 
those packs are going to actually decrease in value. Like I have seen the foils just crimple, like just cringe under the heat and it's um because it, it doesn't it, the packing is not tight it's not like a tight type of packing there's up and down space and there's side to side space uh, that's very bad in, for foils that's extremely bad for foils because unless you're keeping them in like an air-conditioned place all the time which is definitely not true for game stores at least the ones i go to some of them don't even have ac when it's 105 degrees outside i'm not kidding you here um they have I guess they have fans that give you current, but they don't have AC, and I cannot imagine what that box looks like, right? What does that box look like uh, after like a year of 100 degrees humid weather? The foils, I cannot imagine being in good shape, and when a lot of the value might be in the foils, I think that's what's impacting the store's decisions right now to move them at $175 a box. And before you guys say, oh yeah, you know, I'll put down deposit. I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Bye guys.